Hi, everybody. Hello there. I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda. We're the Village's Newcomers. We're solo today. Gizmo's not alone because this is an important show. Probably the most important show we've ever done. Today, we're going to talk about expenses. We did a show like this uh, two years ago. That's right. I think it was pretty close to the first anniversary. Yeah. And so we looked at uh, the first year's bills and... Mm -hmm. Now we have a much better handle on it because we've been here for three years. So we've been working hard, especially her. <laughs> we took our receipts for the last year and compiled them into a list. Number one of things that you probably will encounter if you live here. And the second part are things you might, depending on your lifestyle. So let's dig right in. There's not going to be a lot of witty repartee in this one. Very few dead. jokes. <laughs> no. We're going to start with a mortgage. Mm -hmm. Many people have a mortgage when they move to the villages. Now, the, the villages is a 55-plus community, and many people have worked their entire life and saved, and some people buy homes with cash. But I think most people probably have a mortgage, wouldn't you? I think so. So we don't know what your mortgage is, but we're going to start our expense list with a mortgage. And we're going to use one as an example based on borrowing $250,000. And as far as interest rates goes, we're going 30 years at 4.5% with a payment of $1,266 a month for a total of $15,000 a year. If you don't have a mortgage, you can disregard that in its entirety. Right. Home prices here begin around $300,000 and go up into the millions. So borrowing $250,000 would be on the low end, I'm afraid. If your mortgage you think is going to be more, you'll have to adjust that payment. Homes in the villages tend to have bonds. A bond is a way the villages collects money to pay for the awesome infrastructure that we enjoy every day. In this neighborhood, which is the one we're using for an example, the original bonds were $23,000. They're paid off over a 30-year period. In this neighborhood, that monthly payment's $145.49. So for the yearly total, you're going to pay $1,745.88 on your bond. You can pay that off if you like. Now, homes down south, DeLuna, for example, their bond is nearly twice yes. the amount that that one was. So depending on where you're going to build or buy a pre-owned home, you can check out the number of your bond. And you can figure that out for your own expenses. This is for illustration only. And all the numbers we use today are illustration only. Yeah. You may pay more or you may pay less. In very few instances would I think you'll be paying less. But you can kind of judge from that. <clears throat> all homes have a property tax and assessments. And it varies home to home. Yeah, it's going to be based upon mm -hmm. the assessed value of your home. Mm -hmm. And we're going, to, we're going to give you the numbers that we pay. Again, our home is six years old. And you may buy a home and probably will buy a home that's more expensive than this one. So this would be a pretty low estimate. But monthly, for our property tax and assessments, the average is $323. That yearly total is $3,874.74. That's our bill. Your bill is going to be different, but I'm giving you that number as an estimate. And later, we're going to go down all these numbers and total them up so you can get an idea of the grand total. That was the big criticism from our show last time. Yeah. Everybody said, you didn't add it up. You didn't tell <laughs> us the grand total. It's because there are too many variables, but we're going to do it today. You must have homeowner's insurance if you have a mortgage. And you'd be dumb if you didn't have it anyway. So we shopped and shopped. In fact, our homeowner's insurance went way up this year. So we got a new company. Our homeowner's insurance annually is $1,196. And we would pay $99.67 a month on that. We pay it annually. That's how we get that rate. If you pay it monthly, it's a little higher. But that's just an average, $99.67 a month for homeowner's insurance. We have a lot of insurance. We do. And I think it's good. I mean, even the homeowners can be variable, varied because some people may not want sinkhole. Some people may not want what? 
Flood. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. We have everything with that 1196 except flood. Right. And I know you're thinking, you live in Florida, why don't you have flood? We've asked, you know, we've done a lot of research and we were paying the extra flood premiums. Mm-hmm. And if we did have a flood, we'd wish we had it, believe me. Yeah. But we think we're okay. And right now we don't. So that is with everything, sinkhole, catastrophic ground collapse, hurricane, for that 1196. Mm-hmm. Automobile insurance also may vary according to the type of car you have. That's right. <laughs> if you have a six-year-old car like we do, your insurance is going to be less. I absolutely love our car. I do too. <laughs> uh, it's a Kia Sorento, 2017 model. Love it. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's the best car we've ever had. You know, they say they don't make cars like they used to. That's true. <laughs> they make them better than they ever did. Mm-hmm. It's my opinion. I'm not a mechanic, though. <laughs> so what do we pay for our car insurance? Total coverage. We pay for the year $854. That's pretty good. Again, I'm a good shopper. <laughs> but that comes out to $71.16 a month. That's so we can give you a monthly total later. We don't pay that insurance or the property taxes monthly, but we're doing that just to show you a, a, a kind of a monthly budget. We also have two golf carts, and we have insurance on the golf carts. $75 a year to cover those. Now, we have older golf carts. We have a 2017 and a 2016, mm-hmm. and we carry liability only. If I run over your toe, I'm probably covered. Mm-hmm. If I run back into a mailbox and dent my cart, I'm not covered. $75 a year, that comes out to $650 a month. If you have a car, you need to keep it registered. You have license plates. Now, you do have an initial cost when you come to Florida. We're not talking about that today. That would be under miscellaneous extra costs, and you you better have a slush fund for that because you'll get some of those. But we had the renewal back in December for this uh, this car, and we paid ninety two twenty to renew those plates. Not bad. If you have a home, you're going to pay maintenance expenses, lawn cut and trim fifty dollars a month. That's one of the biggest bargains oh, yeah. in the villages. And we also do all kinds of spraying for fertilizing, Mm -hmm. for weeding, Mm -hmm. for pest control, and we pay $50 a month for that as well. We also have palm tree maintenance, which comes to $25 a month. That palm tree maintenance comes when branches die and they sag down, you trim them off, or they really get unsightly. And once a year or once every two years, you may want to to really beautify yeah. the tree and have it trimmed up and make it look like the classic palm tree. Water filters, we have a water filter for the house, a whole house filter, it has three filter units. They gotta be replaced about once a year and that costs about a hundred bucks. Uh, then we have a refrigerator water filter that we can, and an air filter in the furnace or the uh, air conditioner that needs changing once a year or so. And that comes to about $10 a month. Home repairs, you never know what's going to break down. You may have a washer go bad. Your microwave may break. Um, all kinds of things can happen. I estimated $50 a month. That's only $600 a year for that. And hopefully it won't be more, but it could easily be more than that. You have sprinklers all around your home. Yeah. I don't know how many we have. We probably have 40 sprinklers. Yeah, it's maybe around that. But, you know, lots of times the uh, heads will come off and, and get lost or whatever. And they have now to you can work them. on them yourself or you can hire people to do it. But yeah. I figured $5 a month, about $60 a year to maintain your sprinkler line. Your home needs power washing. You'll get these little bugs all over it. These yeah. uh, flying whatever. Yeah, no. Well, they are seams. You You'll see them. See them, on them. Those aren't no seams. <laughs> and a couple times a year you have it gently washed. They call it power washing, but really, it's a gentle, it's, wash. It's a gentle wash. You do that a couple of times a year. Now, all of those maintenance expenses come to about $200 a month or $2,400 a year. Amenity fees, we all have that, and it depends on when you bought your house. When we first started, it was like $158, wasn't it? $148. Yes, and now it's gone up to monthly. Now the average is $163. Well, it's $168 a month and 66 cents now. A yearly mm-hmm. average for the last year is 163. We had a 160 amenity at the beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. But that's where you get your, your rec centers where you can go shoot pool mm-hmm. or play table shuffleboard or ping pong yeah. or play cards. You can go throw horseshoes. You can uh, play bocce. You can play shuffleboard. You can play tennis. You can play pickleball. Yeah. All those things are included. 
And those are beautiful facilities. $163 a month, a yearly $1963.51 to budget for your amenity fees. Electric costs. We're pleasantly surprised by the electric costs mm -hmm. here compared to where we lived before. Our average monthly cost is $138.13. And this is a total electric house. Mm -hmm. We don't have gas anything. We have all electric cooking, dishwashing, clothes drying, mm -hmm. cooling, all electric. $138.13 average. If you look at that bill, you can see our highest month was July $190.00. That's a little bit high. We don't know too many people that have a bill that high. Yeah. She likes it cool. I do. It's one of her pleasures of life. So we allow it. And 186 in June, 184 in September. But look at the others. As low as 98 in February, mm -hmm. 105 in November, 106 in December, 107 in January. Very reasonable. Mm -hmm. For the year, you can expect to pay about $1,657.56 for electricity. Potable water. This is water you drink. Or this, take showers. Or take showers yeah. or do your dishes. And even your outside spigots are good water. And your washing, right? Yeah. Sure. Everything in your house. Yeah. Everything Inside in your house your is house. good water. Look how low these bills are. Like January this. 1355, February 13, March 16, April 13. Pretty good. We didn't have a bill more than $17.02 the entire year for water. That is amazing and quite good. Our monthly average was $14.58. And for the entire year last year, we spent $175.01 on the water inside our house. Maybe you should take more than one shower a week. I'm I just get, I get one every Saturday. <laughs> Back in the day, we used to, as kids, wash our hair once a week on Saturday night. Remember that? <laughs> for church on Sunday. <laughs> Let's look at the cost for irrigation. It's going to be higher than the water we drink. So they, mm -hmm. they take water out of these ponds, yeah. these scummy ponds, <laughs> and we spray it on our yard and it costs us more than the water that we drink. Mm. So you can see $19, $19, but March, $39.72. What up, March? May, $50. What? But we had some low, like June, $16.78. I don't know what happened. I must have forgot why? to turn them on. Because we probably had a lot of rain and we turned it off a lot of times Maybe so. That Maybe so. Our monthly average was about $30 a month, a yearly total, $360.05. What goes in must come out, right? <laughs> so we have sewer costs. Yeah. And the sewer costs here are also surprisingly low compared to where we came from. Now, we didn't have sewer costs because no. we had a septic tank. And we had, we, our house was 34, almost 34 years old when we moved. Mm -hmm. And those septic lines were about to be clogged. Who knows how long? <laughs> who knows what? But we were going to have to have some major work eventually done on those. Here, the sewer costs are quite reasonable. You can see January 25, 33. And looking on down there, they're usually in the 20s. Mm, that's great. Monthly average of 27.42. A yearly total of 329.08. And everybody's got that sewer charge here. Some places where you live, the amenity fee is going to cover your garbage. It does not here. That amenity fee covers no utilities. The garbage fee here runs $22.95 a month. That's a yearly total of $266.16. It went up about a year and a half ago. It did. We went to a new company and uh, still not too bad. The next section may or may not appeal to you. You may have cut the cord, yeah. but this is for cable and internet costs because this was the number one complaint from our last video. Yeah. How much is cable? Well, I don't know. Do you have HBO? Do you have Cinemax? Do you have Showtime? Yeah. You know, do you have a DVR? Do you have two DVRs? Right. You know, it's variable, but this is ours. So this is what you're comparing to. We don't have any premium channels. We have simply... Spectrum cable. Most of last year, it was somewhere between 184 and 190 for an average of $186.28 a month. Mm -hmm. The year total was $2,235.23. If you had ever told me that I would be spending $2,235 a year to watch TV, uh, I would not have believed it. <laughs> you like you some TV. We like it, especially in July. <laughs> That's true. And we also... What was that? The 
refrigerator water drip coming in. <laughs> we also have nice. cell phones. Now we have the 55 plan, you know, 55 and older mm -hmm. from Verizon. And so it's a cheaper plan, but it's still 87, 80 a month. We don't have our phones on that. That's strictly for the phone line, two lines, 87, 80 a month, $1,053 and 60 cents a year. Again, 2,235 for cable, 1,053, over $3,000 for phone and TV. Yikes. Yikes. That's what I said. Now, how many of you out there eat? Okay. <laughs> I do. Some of you do. Some of us eat more than others. Let's look at food expenses. We broke this down into two categories. Groceries. That depends. Again, yeah. it's all one of these things that depend. Yeah. Now, when I talked to her about this, she initially thought we spent less. But believe me, we don't go just once a week. We will go one day and we will spend a hundred and some bucks. Then two days later, she goes and spends 50 more bucks. Mm. Right? <laughs> yeah. Am I right? Yeah, you are. And meat. Meat nowadays, come on. <laughs> so we averaged $150 a week for groceries, okay? Some people move here and never buy groceries. They eat every meal out. We'll get to that in a minute. Well, they care if we would have a cow in the backyard. <laughs> Cut the grass. When I say $150 a week, your initial thought is, oh, $600 a month, four weeks in a month. They're not four weeks in a month. they are 4.33 weeks in a month. And it all evens out over the course of a year. So we spend $645 a month on groceries. That's an estimate. Mm -hmm. But we also eat out. And this is a very conservative number. I put four meals a week, two lunch, two dinner. Yeah. Very conservative, right? Now, if you eat lunch out, I put $12 for each meal out for lunch. That's conservative, too. Mm -hmm. The cheapest hamburger in town is $11.99, you know, $11 probably. Mm -hmm. And... At two meals at $12 twice a week, that's $207.84 a month. Uh, you didn't expect that, did you? Yeah. Two dinners, if you eat for 18 and that's with no liquor. Two meals at $18 each twice a week, $311.76 a month. Mm -hmm. So right there, by eating two meals out for lunch, two meals out for dinner, you're spending $1,164 a month for a grand total of $13,975.20 a year for food. Think about the people that eat seven days a week out. Yeah. That's an incredible amount of money. It is. Because you have to tip, too, and that's You got tax uh... and tip. Fuel expenses. Most people have an automobile or maybe two. We have one, so that's what we're quoting. One automobile. And we have a couple of golf carts, but they don't use much gas. Yeah. So we figured we spend $60 a month on gasoline. Some people have natural gas to cook with, yeah. to heat with in the winter, to even dry their clothes. We don't know what that costs. We did a little bit of research and we came up with 30 bucks a month. I talked to some folks that spend about $300 a winter to heat their home with gas. Yeah. So that could be a relatively accurate number. That's what I'm throwing into the... Uh, the equation. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. Okay, you're always going to have miscellaneous expenses, and I probably forgot some. If I did, don't write me a nasty letter. Just write your own miscellaneous expenses on your list. Are you taking notes, by the way? <laughs> we take the newspaper. That's your baby. That's my baby. I love the newspaper. Yeah, I get a lot of ideas out of it. I get recipes. I see what's happening in the neighborhood, who gets a hole in one. It's, it's a fun thing to read. I love it. And that's seven dollars a month, eighty-four dollars for the year, and okay. I enjoy. Got to add seven bucks on for the newspaper. Mm -hmm. If you belong to the tea time system, which in the winter is the only way that you can get golf reservations, unless you call in and get lucky and find an opening. So, on the tea time system, that's eight dollars a month. Villages.net. If you have your own cart, you can ride it and play golf. It's not free. No. You can pay every day you go $4, or you can pay it once a year for $141. And that's what we do. And that comes out to $11.76 a month for uh, carts. Car washes, you got to wash your car. A lot of sand and a lot of dirt blowing down here. It's $5 a month. That's pretty conservative. And haircuts and uh, beauty appointments. Yeah, it takes a lot to get me beautiful, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's probably low, $60 a month. I know some of you ladies are laughing about that, but that's yeah. not including any 
She's low maintenance. Let me tell you what. Yeah, I don't do my nails. If we got up tomorrow and I said, hey, let's go to the mall, whatever. <laughs> let's go to Disney World. Let's go to the mall. She could be ready in 10 minutes. You know, <laughs> she doesn't do her fingernails. She doesn't do her pedicures. No. She doesn't um, do fake lashes or <laughs> no, or any of that stuff. I mean, no. So I get, I get my hair done every six to eight weeks. I try to make it go eight weeks, but it really looks bad after eight weeks. And you guys know I, I go to the barber and it's eight bucks a pop. <laughs> it's don't happen by accident, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Clothing. You need less of it down here, so you probably will buy less. <laughs> We had to come up with some kind of number. We we debated this. Yes. We we argued about we this. We kind of did. New clothes. That's new shirts, new pants, new belt, new shoes, new socks, a hat. Sun, you know, 100 bucks a month, 50, 20 for me, 80 for her. I still think that's high. And all these numbers, by the way, are meant for a couple. You know, these are for two people. Yeah. So they're meant for a couple. So yearly, 1,200 bucks on clothing. Now, here's another big one, almost as big as food. Yes. It's your medical expenses, all figured for a couple. Prescriptions. Hopefully, you don't have any, but if you do, I've got a few. She's got a few. 50 bucks a month. Could be less, could be more. Put in what you, what you spend on them. You may have doctor copays with your plans. A lot of people have copays. We don't have copays after we meet our deductible, but I put seventy dollars a month for copays, just in case you go a couple times and there's two of you, so maybe you spend seventy or more. Medicare, Medicare deducts a premium from your Social Security. Now, if you're at the base, the average, they they took out this past year one hundred forty four dollars yeah. a month for me, one hundred and forty four for her. We're going to call it two eighty a month. This year it went up to one seven. Uh, what was it? One seventy each. Mm. Yeah, that's a big, big, big price increase. If you have a supplement plan like we do, that's extra. And but that really helps out in the long run because you won't have those copays and you won't have a, a big out of you won't have any out of pocket if you buy the right one. Mm -hmm. Three nineteen a month. That's total. That's for both of us combined to pay for our supplement. Your drug plan. If you don't have one, you have to pay full value for your drugs. 30 bucks a month is what ours cost. Mine's about 17, hers is about $13 a month. Mm -hmm. And then our medicine is not free, but it's much reduced. Dental visits, this can be a huge one. If you get crowns or root canals no, or fillings or braces or, you know, <laughs> we figured 80 bucks a month and that would exclude those big expenditures. That's Cleaning and basic maintenance, and maybe a that's, troubleshooting visit once or 80 bucks a month. Eye doctor, many of you that doesn't pertain to as you get older, though, more of us have it. And then you get those cataracts and glaucoma. 30 bucks a month is probably low. That doesn't include glasses or contacts. So, anyway, I, I hope this will help. But we added our medical expenditures together, it came to about $859 a month. $10,308 a year. That is strong. Yeah. Those are what we consider to be pretty normal and basic expenses. And we would expect most, if not most, many people that live here to have those expenses. What's the grand total for a month? For the month, it's $5,096.23. $5,000 a month. Now, I'll tell you one thing that wasn't in there that could have been a miscellaneous. That's your championship golf. You could have an $800, basically $800 priority membership fee. And then you'll pay anywhere from $30 to $50 around, depending on what time of year it is to play golf. For some of our friends, that's up into the four and five and $6,000 range wow. if they play a lot of golf. Mm -hmm. So that's not in there. Yearly, you will need a budget of about $60,000, a little more than that. Mm -hmm. Good job putting all that together. Thanks. <clears throat> Next, we're going to outline some expenses that we don't have, but you might have. And if you do, pay attention. If you don't, go get a hot chocolate. <laughs> car payment. Many people have a car payment. A lot of people have to have a new car. Some people pay cash, but if you... 
bought a nice car and you borrowed $20,000, finance it for six years at 4.5%, you're going to pay $317 a month. In a year, that'll cost you 3800 bucks to have a new car. So think about that. If you want a new golf cart, it's not much better. <laughs> a new gar golf cart can cost sixteen, seventeen, eighteen thousand. Some people get them cheaper, depending on what kind of bells and whistles that you put in them and how you get them. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you call it? Just souped up or yeah. decorated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to say that you borrowed ten thousand dollars for your golf cart. You financed it for four years at five percent. You're going to pay about one hundred and eighty-eight dollars a month for that golf cart. And in a year, that's $2,264. We don't have a pool. We'd like a pool. We almost got a pool, but we started thinking about these things. Let's look at this one. Your pool will cost you a cleaning fee of somewhere between $120 to $150 a month. We figured $125. Of course, you can do it yourself and buy the chemicals and do it yourself if you like. Extra electricity on your bill every month because you have a pool and you're going to heat that pool. Some people have solar heat, mm -hmm. but I, I'm thinking that it's going to raise your electricity some. When the government finds out you have a pool, they're going to think, oh, you have a pool. They're <laughs> going to raise your taxes a little bit. Mm -hmm. Your insurance costs are going to be a little bit higher. But we're just going to figure in the cleaning at $1,500 a year, $125 a month. We can't tell you how to figure your vacations. No. Are you going on one or two? You're going to drive or you're going to fly? Mm -hmm. You're going to take a cruise? You go on interior cabin or you're going to go balcony? <laughs> or are you going to get a suite? We don't know. So you can travel as much as you like, but a vacation for two could cost you $1,000 or $20,000. You plug in your own number here. Yeah. Do you like to go to movies? Do you go to the club? Do you go out and drink? All those things are going to cost you. Now, some drinks cost like $8 a piece or yeah, more. that's what I've heard. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I tell you what, a Diet Pepsi can cost three. <laughs> Just plug your own number in there. Some people have maids. Oh, man. They downsized. They came to the villages. They got a, got a smaller house probably, but they still have maids. Yes. Smart people. Yeah, they are. <laughs> And that could be a wide range of costs because you may get a two hours a week. You might do two hours every other week. Right. You might get three hours once a week. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Plug your own. If you, if you know what maids cost, put your maid uh, bill on there. Do you have a dog? If you do, you're going to have veterinarian bills because she's going to have a checkup. Yes. Right? You may have, heaven forbid, one of those foo-foo dogs that has to be all trimmed. <laughs> We had a standard poodle many oh, years ago. Wow, was that something? No, that was no good. <laughs> Great dog, loved him. His name was Haji. Oh, it was a beautiful dog. Beautiful. You need to find but, a picture of that. Yeah, dog. you got to have them trimmed, and yeah. and uh, some dogs eat a lot of dog food. Not not no, Gizmo, Gizmo here. Doesn't. He does all right, but plug in your own amount for what the and then those unexpected vet bills. Who mm -hmm. you better have a a side slush fund to get ready for those. Mm -hmm. Charity. We don't know how much anybody's going to give to charity, to your church, to your local food pantry, to, uh, yeah. you know, bargains and blessings, whatever. Yeah. Gift giving. Uh, put your own number down there. You know how much you give. And don't forget about holidays, Christmas in particular, when you buy gifts for all the grandkids. It's getting expensive, doesn't it? Yes. I mean, what used to be yeah. $25 gifts now are... $150 gifts. Are you going to get me a birthday present for $150? It's Friday. <laughs> did you forget? I did not forget. In fact, I already told you what it is. Oh, I, I told her I would take her on a cruise anywhere she wanted to go. She just has to pick it out. Mm -hmm. Didn't I? You did. I'm just not ready yet to pick it out. But If I pick it out, it's going to be like we're going to cruise from Tampa down to Fort Lauderdale. There you go. Yeah. So there you go. That's our estimate of expenses. Those are, many of them are our actual bills from the past 12 months. So you can figure, especially things with fixed costs. But now you know what our electric costs and our garbage fee costs and our cable TV costs and that sort of thing. Give yourself an idea of what you'll have to spend. What we would hate is for you to move down here and not be able to afford it. Or 
to stay home thinking you couldn't afford it. Right. But hopefully now you know. If now we could only get this housing market under control, mm -hmm. the homes are very expensive and there's a lot of competition out there. But anyway, you did a great job. Well, thank you. You did too. Thanks for putting that all together. <laughs> Guys, let us know what you thought of our cost estimate. As always, we can't tell you how much we enjoy having this channel and meeting you and talking to you and reading your comments. You guys are fantastic, and we appreciate every one of you. We sure do. And I want to know how many people made my meatloaf. <laughs> I hope you liked it. Thank you all for watching our video. If you liked it today, please press that like and subscribe button. Until next time. See you when you get here.